hello virgo welcome back to my channel my name is ashley i'm gonna do another quick love reading for y'all we're going to be looking at how you're feeling towards your person and how your person's feeling towards you and the mutual energy in between you both please remember this is a general reading so it will not resonate with all virgos out there take what resonates and leave what doesn't if it's not your story it's just not your story um so it's important not to force it some of my messages are um quite detailed and they almost seem a little bit personal so ooh, what's going on so it is important to remember um, not to force anything that doesn't seem like your situation what's going on oh, oh my goodness Virgo let's see what's going on Virgo um, hmm I don't like these cards but let's see Eight of Pentacles in reverse as the overall energy, okay? Hmm. Let's see. I'm going to read this as your person. I'm going to read this as you. Remember, roles can always be reversed, so flip it as need be. Can y'all see? Let's see. Okay. All right, Virgo. So... Could be dealing with a Leo, could be dealing with a Gemini, could be dealing with a Cancer, a Pisces. A lot of air, a lot of water. So let's go ahead and get started. For your person, Virgo. Somebody's coming back, Virgo, okay? Or I don't want to say that they're coming back, but there's someone coming here, okay? We have the Page of Cups, and then we have the Sun card here, Strong Leo Energy. So I feel like somebody's coming in to make you an offer or offer emotion. Someone's going to offer you, offer you a cup of love here. They're going to see if you would... They're going to tell you how happy you make them. They're going to tell you that they love you and how happy you make them, okay? They're going to make you an offer here. However, that's also followed by the Knight of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles, both in reverse here, okay? I don't think this person is really genuine with it. With this Knight of Cups here in reverse, this is someone who's not to be trusted, okay? He's not very loyal. He or she is not very loyal. They're not very trusting, and I don't think they're going to be very sincere with it either. You see, the Page of Cups here is... An immature type of energy okay it's a very low vibrational type of offer it's the any page is like a childlike energy like very immature you know what I mean so yes they're gonna come in and say oh I love you you know what let me make you happy I, I want to make you happy you make me happy but I don't think you can really trust what this person is saying or giving to you okay the Knight of Cups is in reverse. That's literally someone who can't be trusted. I feel like they're coming in just so you're not single, Virgo. They want to just take you off the market so you're not single and for anybody else, okay? I, I think they're going to say whatever they have to say, <clears throat> excuse me, just to make sure that you are theirs, that you're not out, you know, playing the field here. This is the Virgo card, okay? In your energy, Virgo... I don't think you, I think you kind of know who and what this person is though, okay? You have the two of pentacles in reverse as well as the five of wands. So you've made up your mind. You don't want to go back and forth. You no longer want to go back and forth with this person, okay? You've made up your mind. You're not confused. You're tired of fighting with this person. You're tired of the drama. You're tired of the conflict. You're tired of the pettiness. You don't want to continue with this same energy, with the same energy of, of going back and forth or being confused because this person has already hurt you with this three of swords this person's already broken your heart they've already hurt you they've already caused you a lot of pain okay and you've made up your mind that you don't even want to deal with this person anymore it could be that you're still hurting for this person it could be that you haven't fully healed yet you see how like yes there's barbed wire around this heart you're guarded however there's still swords there Okay, you're still healing from this person. There may be days where you still feel a little gloomy and you may still cry for this person or what they did to you. You know what I mean? So you've made up your mind. 
you've made up your mind and you're tired of it. You're tired of fighting with this person and you're moving forward with this chariot, okay? You're going to move forward with this. You're not looking back. You want to move forward. You're trying to gain your self-confidence and your... Um, you're working on yourself to move forward. You're getting confidence to move forward and, and, and start something new somewhere else, okay? Or just move forward away from this person. In the mutual energy, we have the five of cups in reverse, okay? So I feel like you're letting go of this person, okay? I feel like you are, you're, you're, you're tired of mourning this connection, you're tired of feeling sad for it. You're tired of crying about the past or you're tired of thinking and being sad about the past, okay? You're wanting to come out of that energy of regret and remorse and mourning. You're done, Virgo. You're picking yourself up. Look at you. See how he's fallen to the ground and he's mourning and he's sad? You're picking yourself up because you're done. You're tired of that energy, okay? Um, that's the mutual. This person knows that you're tired of it. That's why they're coming back. <laughs> sorry oh my gosh the doorbell just rang when i said they're coming back Ooh, virgo they may come and see you okay they may come and see you but yeah definitely someone's coming back okay someone's trying to come back um and i see it here because in the same mutual energy we have this six of cups okay this is someone coming back for reconciliation this is also the x card okay Ooh, that gave me the chills about the doorbell guys <laughs> um okay so the six of cups this is someone coming back from your past or this is an ex, okay? This is reconciliation as well. This is someone missing you. This is someone missing you and, and wanting to come back and they're being nostalgic right now. They're thinking about you, Virgo, and they want to come back and reconcile. They may even show up and give you some sort of gift or give you flowers or something like that, okay? But look what else, what else came out. The Seven of Swords, lying, sneaky, deceitful, anything deceitful you can think of, that's this card, okay? there's a hidden agenda here why they want to come back they have ulterior motives here okay it's not in your best interest virgo it's in their best interest to come back okay and it could be just that they don't want to see you move on fully from them okay they don't want to see you pick yourself back up let's clarify the energies here clarify virgo's person uh-huh yeah you could be dealing with a gemini a pisces we have the hanged man virgo the hanged man so this person's in their head about you okay they're stuck they're stuck they're feeling emotional with this moon card here they're they're in their head they're feeling emotional they're in their feelings because they want to start something new with you they want a new opportunity with you okay but underneath the deck virgo we have the ten of pentacles in reverse okay they're still not stable they're still not loyal it's still not something long term or um committed it's not something that you you want from this person this person is still oh virgo let's see virgo let's see virgo let's see virgo yeah oh <laughs> virgo you have the ten of cups in reverse okay you know this person can't fulfill you in any way this person doesn't satisfy you their cup of love will never be emotionally fulfilling to you okay you don't want this happy family with this person anymore and i feel like you know this person is trying to come back and make things right with this king of pentacles here you know they're going to come back you know they're going to offer you something you know i'm getting kind of like you you kind of see this person as a little cocky like they kind of like oh all i have to do is say sorry and virgo will will make it right we'll make it right with you know my virgo will take me back and you kind of know that and you kind of know they're coming back with an apology and an offer okay maybe something like if y'all have never been official or they've been very uncommittal they're coming in with a commitment like a firm commitment okay and now you're realizing i don't want that take it back i don't want it because you're cutting them off, Virgo, with this Queen of Swords, I don't think you're going to be very kind to this person. I feel like you're going to be very blunt on letting them know you want nothing to do with them. The Queen of Swords in reverse is someone who's very cutthroat, very cutting with her words. This could be a male. Remember, flip the rolls as need be. But I don't think you're going to accept it. Underneath the deck, Virgo, we have Ace of Cups in reverse, all right? There's no more love here. There's no more love here, okay? 
I feel like you're you're finally standing your ground with this person and this person is freaking out a little bit. Like I said, they're in their feelings. Yeah, they know. <laughs> yeah, they know, Virgo too, look. Clarifying the mutual energy. We have the eight of pentacles in reverse. Okay, they know you're not trying to work things out with them. Followed by the five of swords because of the sneakiness that they were doing in the past. They were hiding things behind your back. Being selfish. Being deceitful. Holding back from you. And only... Look, what did I say? Yeah, they're not really willing to put in the work, Virgo. Didn't I say they're coming back but there's ulterior motives? They're not willing to put in the work still, Virgo. They're not going to put in any work to this connection. Okay, they're still in it for themselves. They're coming back because they have ulterior motives here. There's something here. Underneath the deck, we have the Ace of Cups. No, in reverse, again. There's no love here. There's no more love in this connection. Let me see. They told me to use this. What is that Five of Cups? What is that Five of Cups? Yeah, Virgo, they, they're coming back for their own agenda. There's ulterior motives because... They're in pain over this ending. They're in pain over this ending because you don't want them. You made a choice to not want to be with them anymore and you ended it and now they're feeling hurt. So they're coming back solely because they want your energy here. You may have cut them off. Under the deck we have the Ace of Swords. You're not talking to this person. What else can you tell me about that Five of Swords? Hmm. <sighs> Clarifying the Five of Swords, they're stressing Virgo, the Nine of Swords, okay? You ending things with them and choosing a better path for yourself, it has them stressed out, okay? Sleepless nights, crying, anxiety, depression. This person is now in their feelings because we're, it's followed by the Judgment, the Lovers, the Empress, and the Three of Pentacles. So I feel like this person is up in their head because now they know there's no going back, okay? They're, they know they've lost you for good. With this lovers here in reverse, they know you're detaching, okay? I feel like they're dreaming about you too. Like they're dreaming about you. They're having dreams about you or something. Um, and it's like they wake up in pain. Like, oh, okay, this is finally it. You know, it, it's really over. The Empress in reverse. It's really over. My Virgo, this is the Virgo or the Taurus, okay? Um, or the Libra. My Virgo is detaching and they no longer want to grow with me. And that's why they're stressed out and they're, they're in their head because now, now, that's why now they want to come together, okay? Now they want to come together with this Three of Pentacles here. Under the deck, we have the Two of Swords. So... They're in their head. They're refu and look, the two of swords followed by the hanged man. They know, Virgo, they're in their head really bad about you. They're going back and forth. They feel stuck. They feel stuck and they're refusing to see things for what it is, okay? They're refusing to believe that this connection is actually over and like you're actually done with them. Let's get some soul confessions for y'all and some love messages. So you can find these in my Etsy shop. Um, both decks are in there. Also, you can purchase a private reading there. Or you can shoot me an email. Everything is in the description below, okay? The links, my email, everything. Let's see what's going on, Virgo. If you haven't already, um, please like and subscribe to the channel. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Ooh, Virgo. <laughs> I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. I do appreciate all the love and all the donations that y'all send me. I'm very, very, very much appreciative over that. Um, Y'all, and just for the private readings, I still am having a special, okay, the $50 for the full love reading. If I don't respond to you, I usually ask two to three business days, okay, babes? Um, I am a little booked right now, um, but I'm getting to everybody as soon as I can. If I don't get to you quick, it's because I don't want to open the message and, and leave you waiting, okay? But I am getting to everybody, okay? Um... If this resonates with you, leave a comment below because I do like to make sure I'm reaching the people I need to reach. So here we have, Virgo, I love you so much. 
I love you so much. Didn't I say this person's going to come love bomb you, okay? They're going to come, I love you, I love you. You make me happy. You make me happy here. Like, let's be committed. This might even be a proposal, babes, okay? Let, let, this might be a sorry. This might be an offer. This might be a commitment. This could be a long-term commitment. So they could propose to you, okay? And that's why you're saying, nope, nope, I don't want your family. You know, I don't want this happy family with you, you know? But we have, I love you so much. So I feel like this person's going to come back and love bomb you. And what do we have, Virgo? Marry me. I love you so much, Virgo. Marry me. Marry me. Let's get married. Let's do it long term, you know, type of energy, okay? Just be aware of that. It could be that a proposal is coming. And what do we have for the mutual? Separation or no communication. Like I said, you guys are not talking to this person and they're in their head about it and they're really freaking out about it. In their energy, I'm sorry for betraying you. So definitely a betrayal here, okay? And they know they lost you. They know that's why you don't want anything. Like I said, I could tell they've caused you pain before. And now they're in their head wondering if they missed their chance with you, if that was the last straw finally. Because under the deck, we have self-love and self-worth. They know you're picking up, yeah, they know, oh my God, everything is like right. They know, oh my God, I just got that song. Um, the Five of Cups, they know you're picking yourself up, Virgo. They know that you finally have enough self-love and self-worth to leave them in the dust leave them in the past in the dust you know there's a song guys by um avant i think it's called separated to be honest um but it says every time i see you i get a bad vibe and i feel like that's you right now virgo like your soul literally rejects this person that's why you don't want anything to do with them that's why you've made up your mind and when you're around it's probably that you guys fight a lot there's a lot of fighting, a lot of pettiness, a lot of drama. And you're you're finally deciding, no, enough is enough. I'm tired of this. Like, I don't want anything. Your soul literally rejects their energy here. And in that song, it says, every time I see you, I get a bad vibe. Later on in, in the chorus, it says, I, I'm sick of you and I know you're tired of me. Like, you're, you're, you're kind of realizing, like, it's just done, you know, and you're telling this person, I don't like you, you know, you're not good to me, what, what do you want, you know, what do you want, why do you continue this, what are you doing, that type of energy, I don't care if you're sorry, you know what I mean, you're kind of like, you had me, and you didn't want it, why now? But I, I think that you're over it, Virgo, because look, self-love, self-worth, this is all under the deck, okay, self-love, self-worth. I'm over it. You're over it, Virgo. But honestly, I think this person, look, Virgo, I can't even make this up. I'm obsessed with you. This person is obsessed with trying to get you back, Virgo. They're trying to get you back to them. I'm obsessed with you. And underneath that, sleepless nights and gossip. What the heck? So like I said, this person's stressed. They're thinking about you. And then we have gossip. My family loves you. So it could be that It could be that this person's family is getting on their case, you know, because they know what they did to you or something in that nature. That's not for everybody. But, or if y'all have children, if y'all have children, that's what this person's thinking about. Like, why did I mess this up? You know, the kids are involved. Or it could be, you know, like the family's mad, like, because they know they messed things up and they're gossiping. But that's, that's what I have for you for the love messages, Virgo. Let's get some soul confessions and then we'll end the video. I'm going to upload a few videos for y'all guys, okay? I, I know I was kind of slacking. I did a few personal readings, and my goodness, they they took a toll on me, you know? And I apologize for y'all that are going through some really heavy things right now. And y'all, please remember, we're about to... Right now, we're in the shadow period for Mercury Retrograde, okay? Mercury Retrograde starts January 30th, I think, and it doesn't end until March. It's a long one. Mercury retrograde, exes are coming back, babes. People from your past are coming back. People will come back. People will reach out to you. There's going to be communication issues and technology issues, okay? So just be aware that there are people coming back. This person may come back around that time. I've never felt like this before. So this person, I feel like this person is 
obsessing virgo i feel i'm getting heavy obsession here oh i got the chills i'm getting heavy obsession here like this person is is kind of like if they're a player or a playerette you know or they have like that hardcore i don't catch feelings like don't get attached to me don't fall in love with me you know that type of energy because that's what i'm getting um now that they're starting to feel sad and really obsessive over you and trying to get you back like doing anything to get you they've never felt this before and that's why they're obsessing okay that's why they're obsessing because i've never felt like this before like why do i like virgo so much why do i love virgo like why can't i just let virgo go that type of energy okay and then we have i've cried over this clarifying the mutual clarifying the mutual i've cried over this so they're, like I said, they're in their feeling. They can't sleep. They're obsessed. They're having stress. They're having depression. Oh, yep. And then they're, they're trying to blame you, Virgo. Sometimes you break my heart with things you say and do too. So now that you're standing up for yourself and you're being very blunt and telling them you don't want nothing to do with them or possibly even just ghosting them completely, cutting them off completely, now they're like well you're breaking my heart you know i broke your heart but now you're breaking my heart type of energy and now they're crying Ugh. and then we have there has been too much damage between us i'm afraid we won't be able to move forward from it uh, clarifying i'm sorry for betraying you okay so they know what they did they know what they did they know it's unforgivable they know the damage has been done already here okay but they're still gonna try to be honest they're still gonna try but like i said virgo it's not genuine, okay? I don't feel like it's genuine. It's just this person wants you. It's obsession here, okay? Underneath the deck, I wish you would just open up to me. I wish you would just open up to me. So if you're not talking to this person, they want to talk to you, okay? I feel like... I feel like they want to... They want to talk about the connection, Virgo. That's what I'm getting. They just want to talk to you. like. But underneath that, look at feeling single... And underneath that, I'm no good for you. You deserve much better. This person is, if they're a player, a player of energy, they're still not even done. They're still acting single out here, okay? They're still not ready to commit. Like I said, the cup of, this little page of love, that their little page, their cup page, ah, how do you say it? This page with the cup <laughs> that they're trying to give you, it's not even sincere. It's not even a big cup of love, okay? Whatever they're going to come say, it's still not even sincere. You can't trust this person. Because they're still out here living their best life. And they know they don't deserve you. Hi, this person. But that's what I have for you, Virgo. Okay, I hope that helps. I hope that resonates. I'm sending you lots of love, light, peace, clarity. If y'all want to follow me on a personal level, y'all can see my Instagram in the description below and follow me there. I love you so much and I will talk to you soon.